Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. Uh, just before we start, I ought to just warn you that I currently have a cold and it's, it's sort of irritating my throat quite a bit. So for the rest of the week, I'm going to be doing shorter episodes than I do normally. Sorry about that, but I figure you'd probably want me to keep making episodes. So um, yeah, something's got to give. Something has got to give, and I don't want it to be my throat, um, because that that means no videos at all. And this would be a terrible thing. So no, we, we we're going to we're going to keep going. So what do we got? We got the connoisseur's house over here. I need to buy another house. This is what we're doing today. We're buying another house. We have got the flooded house. Or see, we had the oh, what's this one? Uh, great opportunity, study house, 1930s, large plot, great location, major renovation. Let's go for that one. We're going to buy this one. Uh, we're going to go. Okay. So, yes, I, I have this cold, so we, we're going to be um, sort of reducing things. This is the joy of having children. They go to school, they pick up all sorts of things. If you don't want to put up a house for sale, maybe you'd move there. When you're in a house you bought, press escape. In the options menu, you'll see move the office. Use it, you can put your laptop somewhere in your current house, and you'll be able to sell the previous office. We can upgrade our office. We won't do that today. That is, that is, not, that is not something that we're going to do today, but maybe we will. Maybe we will at some point. Um... So, yes, uh, it, it, the children have, have all had colds and they, they brought it home from school very generously and have decided to share it with me. So now I have a cold as well, which is just tickety-boo. I did explain to them that I didn't want the cold. However, they weren't interested. They decided to share it anyway. Um, so, yeah, the, the, there's not a lot that we can do about that. I have this and we're just going to have to live with it. Um, something else that I wanted to say is that there is a new game coming out. A uh, new game from Playway. Um, and I don't, we, we know Playway. Playway do us do us service well. We, we do very well from Playway. We have all sorts of games like this one right here we're playing right now. Um, this game is 303 Squadron the Battle of Britain. And I did a short preview of this game some time ago when I just looked at the demo. Well that game is coming out very very shortly. Unfortunately, I have been unable to actually record a full introductory episode um, because it's, you know, we, we, you, with the whole cold and thing, it, it, it's not worked out very well, which, which is a little bit of a shame. I would like to have done it. However, um, I will be starting a series on that game sometime soon. And I would say in another two or three weeks, we, we're going to play this game for a while. And then when we sort of work through a lot of what this game has to offer, we're then going to go and we're going to start playing 303 Battle of Britain. I think it's going to be a lot of fun playing that game. I'm sure we've done this house before. Um, but yeah, I think it is actually going to be very cool playing that game. Um, so I'd like to be able to do it justice. And rather than trying to sort of stumble through a partial introductory 10 minute episode with a sore throat, I figured, well, I will leave it. I will tell you that it's coming. And then in a few weeks time, I will go and play it. There will be plenty of other people who will be playing that game in the meantime. So there are there will there will be others if you want to see it. It did seem to have quite a positive response here. Um, with everybody when I did the, um, the the preview episode of it and we just sort of took a, a little look at it and seen what it had to offer. Um, a lot of you seem to like the idea of it. So I will be playing that game. That is one that is on the cards for playing. But um, yeah, I reckon in a few weeks time, um, once we've done sort of what we want to do with this game and you know we, we've, we've explored a lot of what this game has to offer because keep in mind that this game isn't going to be like a huge long series because they get once we've explored a lot of the gameplay we don't really want to be just constantly repeating ourselves we will move on to another simulator title so that we can keep things fresh and we can always come back here if we want to later on there is nothing to stop us from doing that just move that one over there there we go we'll pick up all the rest so that one is going to be turning up at some point i'm just not entirely sure when it's going to be just yet uh, get rid of that. Those are hold. I'm gonna get rid of those anyway. So let's let's go through now, and we can start selling furniture. Um, some of this stuff is rather manky, so we, we'll get rid of uh, a lot of this stuff. There we go. Um, I'm gonna keep these. Actually, I might keep most of this room. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep those for a minute. And oop. I can't remember what I did in here last time. I'm sure I actually removed this doorway. Or didn't I? I can't remember now. I honestly don't remember. I think I did something in here previously. Uh, this room here. I don't want that wardrobe. That is, that's too big. We can get rid of that rubbish there. Um, 
I think this bed is not going to clean up very well, so we will just polish this one off a minute. No, that that um <laughs> that looks hideous. That looks absolutely awful. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Instead of just going around and cleaning the entire house this time, like we did last time, we're going to work through each room at a time. We're going to do the entire room. We're going to decorate it. We're going to do everything that we want to do in a room. And then we're going to we're going to move out of it, and it's, it's going to be done. So we have um, more of a variety of the different styles of gameplay um, in a single episode, rather than me just doing the same thing for the majority of one episode. So I figure that we'll do it we're, as we're in the bedroom. We may as well start with this bedroom first. So let's get rid of that one, because we're not going to want it. That one's broken, and we get rid of the light as well. And then also the door. The door can go as well. So we've got everything gone. And then if I go to cleaning, and we will just quickly polish floor. I do want to have a look a minute at uh, the perks. Let's go here. Um... Cleaning, right, uh, another 491 elements, right, that, that's going to take a little while. Painting the street, yeah, okay, so we're not getting any upgrades anytime soon. And let's just make sure that we've got everything clean. So some of the patches on the floor, they do actually take a little while to get through, but you do, you get them eventually. Eventually you get all of them. Now, what else we got? We got some over this side. Got to be some more here somewhere. I think it's actually on the outside that most of this dirt is. A piece here, where, where is it? There is some. There is some dirt. Oh no, it's, it's gone now. It was. There was dirt, but there is no more. There is a piece. There is some dirt, and I think that is everything in this room. I think it's all of it. What I am going to do is I'm just going to go outside and I'm going to clean around the edge of the house because it's going to just make it easier for us to see what is going on inside the rooms if we make sure that we've cleaned all of the gunk and everything around from the outside. It'll just. It just generally it's going to make life a little bit easier for us. Is there anything up there? I don't think there is. Clean the window. Yeah, we've got to do that from inside. There's a lot of cobwebs inside this window. Although most of them are actually indoors and not outside out here. The outside doesn't generally look too bad. It's fairly clean and tidy. There is the odd patch here, like this bit up here, look. Just clean those away from that window there. And it is extremely grubby inside the house in there. But that's, um, I think that's actually the bathroom, is it? I don't know, maybe not. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what room that is, but it's it's looking pretty grim. Uh, no, actually, most of this outside is looking pretty good. I thought that there would, I, I actually, I genuinely thought there would be more. We've got some around the window that we can get. But, yeah, you know, I, I really did think that there would be a lot more on the outside. Oh, there we go. There's some on the outside. Get those bits there, and so it's mostly the front that has got the dirt. That's all clean now. I've got another bit over here, just out there, um, and those bits up there. Right, so now it's looking like everything is clean on the outside. Right, so we will close that door there. Now, this room will keep this as a bedroom. This room here, I'm thinking that we're going to knock that wall out and incorporate it into a bigger room in here. And then this one here will be another bedroom and office as well. So we'll have two bedrooms and office, but this bit we're going to open up. We're going to remove this and we'll um, remove the wall up there as well. Um, the only thing possibly we could do is remove that and sort of have this as one open bit and then build a wall across there and have a separate room. Um, we might, we might try and do that, but let's first of all, let's deal with the bedroom. So this room here is clean. It's all done. And uh, next up, we need to do some plastering. So we go to here first. We need to buy plaster. You go to the store and you go to, it says paints, and then we've got plaster right here. So we buy a bucket of plaster. We place that one down on the floor like that and then switch to plastering like that. And then you just load it up like this and you go over and there should definitely be plaster here. There we go. Right. Is there any more? Should put some more of that on. Um, where else can we plaster? We can. We, we've got the clean the wall. We got some plaster under there that we've got to do. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna have. I. I don't actually think there is any more plastering that needs to be done in this room. I think we've done all of it. It's only like a couple of patches. So as I've got my trowel loaded, let me just do this bit out here. There. Uh, that bit's done. This room is complete. So if I... Oop, no, I didn't want to do that. No. I need to go to that. 
Okay, so we, we, we've got the we've got the trowel loaded. That's fine. We'll come back to that. That one could go in there, ready for use later. So we have now plastered. So let's clean the windows next. We've got the wide squeegee. We've got the wider squeegee, which definitely made life easier for us. As soon as we as soon as we upgraded the size, everything was beautiful. That was it. It's absolutely perfect. Just the little one that we had before was just no good. Look at that. That's so much quicker. It's so much easier. Definitely, definitely one of the first things you want to do if you want to be able to clean the windows fast is get the, the bigger squeegee thing. Um, and, and to do that, you just you upgrade the mop. In the cleaning perks, get the bigger mop. It's, it's got the long, well, it's got the longer reach or something on the actual mop. But yeah, that's, that's what you need. Okay, uh, what do we do in the way of colour? See, the thing is, different people have different preferences for colours, and there are quite a number of different... You can go for, like, dark colours throughout, and there are people that do prefer dark colours throughout. And then there are also people that prefer bright colours, and there are people that prefer neutral colours. It really does sort of change between them all. So I think we're going to go for some quite bright colours. We're going to go for an alluring lavender here in the bedroom. Um, I don't know who's going to prefer an alluring lavender in the bedroom, but nevertheless, this is what we're going to do. So if we go under here like this and paint that one, and then do that on that side, and I'm going to go onto this side. I'm going to do every room in the house a different color. I almost always do the bathroom white. However, I'm thinking today we're going to do a different color bathroom. I don't know if I can get like different color toilets and stuff. If I can, I will. I will definitely do that. I will go for um, I'm thinking actually a green bathroom. I mean, you, how often do you see a green bathroom? You never see green bathrooms. Well, almost never. Um, I mean, I think that's mainly because people don't generally like green bathrooms. But nevertheless, I feel a green bathroom is not is, is, is not something that should be sniffed at. I think we can I think we can pull off a green bathroom. I think we can do this. I think between us, we can get a green bathroom, and we can also get somebody to like it and buy it. Uh, that is going to be the aim. So we're going to go, this is going to be a purple bedroom. And then I'm going to go, so we'll, we'll try to match furniture. We'll, we'll try to, everything that we can is going to be purple in this room. Um, and we're going to do furniture. I was told that the more decorations and stuff you put around, the better. It does, it really does help to sell the house. Um, they've it's sort of improved that quite a lot since the early days of the, um, the demos and the, the early access and stuff. Um... Which means that we're going to need to make sure that we put decorations in here. We're going to actually have to go through and add different items to make the place a little bit more appealing to more people. And I, I'm curious what colour we're going to do the outside of the house. I do think maybe we'll just leave the outside of the house. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, we won't get to the outside of the house today. That will probably be in our next episode that we do here. So almost finished. I think I'm going to have to buy another tin of paint to finish this room. It's a little bit unfortunate. We'll sell any excess paint because we're going to do every room. It's going to be a different color. Um, I'm Actually, you know I said that I was going to knock down that room there. Uh, knock down that wall and join us into a single room. I am actually now considering not doing that. Or... How about plan... Ooh! How about plan B? I make the bedroom a bit smaller and I put the wall across there. Remove that, and I can remove all of this, and that's going to give me some extra... Yes! Yes, this is what we're going to do. Okay, I can stop painting for a minute. Uh, I need to go to the hammer. The mighty hammer of destruction. So we're, we're going to take down this. That's all going. This is all going, all the way through. There we go. Take down that one as well. And then we're going to come through here. Nice. There we go, it's all coming down. Have we got people? Yeah, the, um, the, like the guy at the top, he, he doesn't like this. He does not like my plan. Doesn't, he doesn't think this is a good idea. I, I'm sorry, dude, but I'm afraid this is a good idea. Uh, wh whether or not you think it is, I know it is. Okay, just, just trust me on this. Frithgar knows best, right? That's, that's all you need to worry about is Frithgar knows best. Now, there's a switch here somewhere. There it is. Um, that socket isn't in the way. That's all right. Okay, uh, I'm going to build the wall next so that we've we've got the wall all the way across. I need to, I'm going to do two pieces of wall and then I'm going to put a lintel in. So I'm going to put one there. You've got to press and hold like this. There. Now, I, I thought that I had a perk 
that increased the number of walls that I could build. Building here, faster building, can build three walls at once. I don't get this. It doesn't seem to do, it can build... How, how am I building three walls at once? That's not building three walls at once. It's not doing it at all. Yeah, that's that's build walls. Right. Yeah, I I don't understand how the whole build walls thing is supposed to work. Um we'll go along here like this to there and I put that one in. And I'm going to do one more Actually, I, I'm just wondering if I should. I'm thinking, yeah, that's that's only one there. So I'll, I'll do it like that, and then I'll put a door next to it. Uh, let's go here a minute, and then we'll go in and we'll go to the store. We want to we want to go to doors next. Uh, beds, doors, there we go, doors. And internal doors. So we, we can go ebony, we go black doors. I like the mahogany color. Although I think this time we're going to go for white doors. Buy the white door. Now... To do the white door, I'm going to do it so that this is the outside out here. It's going to go that way round. Put that one... I don't know if I got it in the right place. Is that the right place? It's a job to tell, really. It wants to come out one. I think, that's, I think that is the right place there. Okay, so I can't go through that bit. And I have a look here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, that wall on the... Well, actually, I don't think that one needs to be painted. I don't think that really matters. So then we can go to build lintels. And I can put one up there. Right, this this is the bit that... I, new building skill. Why? It, it makes no sense. The wall built... The built wall is already painted. Building distance is... Uh, let's just go with faster building. Because this build three walls, I don't get... It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't actually, because like the painting one, that works much easier. That that just does it. You you just sort of move along as you go, and it, and it builds the extra wall. But this isn't doing it. So put that one up there, and then we'll go to build full walls. Put that one in, and then we'll put this one in here. There, like that. Nope, 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 nope. There. Don't move. There. Okay. So now we have our door. Uh, let me go back to painting. And I will refill the paint. So then I can go along here. That's more like it. All the way along. Are we going to finish this job? Yes. Okay. So now we have this room painted. This is done. It's slightly smaller now than it was. That's fine. Uh, I want to sell the rest of that paint. Bye bye. And then I want to go back to here. So we can go out this side a minute. And the next bit that I want to do is I want to knock down the rest of this wall. So I'm going to take that one down there. And then I'm going to come over here and we're going to knock these out. So this becomes one single room all the way through. That's the plan. There we go. And then I need to knock this down. It's going to make... It's Basically, we've got a much bigger room now. And I'm hoping this is going to work nicely. I hope. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. We'll see if my idea is actually worth it. If it's going to pay off. I just want to do that one there. And that's it. Right, that is a lot bigger now. We've got a lot more space here. That's that's better. I like this. we got the kitchen here. The kitchen's going to stay here. I might do like an island or something. But there's a lot more room. It's a lot more open plan. Right, let's go back into the bedroom. There, and now what are we going to do? So first of all, we want to do the sockets and stuff. Uh, are those sockets... Well, apparently those sockets are all done. I do need a light switch. We'll buy one of those. Go to the store, and... What is it under? Is it under... Ins it's not under... Ins oh, yes, it is on installation. Right, standard light switch. I can only... Oh, you can only buy um, white. That's the, that's the only option you got is to buy a white one. Um, I want to put that on the door, put it on the wall next to the door. It's going to be about there, I think. And then we're going to have a light, in a, and well, an actual ceiling lamp. Which is, no, that's uh, a ceiling lamp there. Okay, uh, chandelier tulips. 
You can have reflector lamps, halogen ceiling, halogen mini, chandelier with bulbs, chandelier tulips. Let's go with that one. Mahogany wood. It's Japanese wood. It's quite bright. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with that one. I like that one. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I like this. this. This seems to be pretty good. Um, let's just put that one there a minute. How's it looking? No, we, we need to move it over this way a bit. It's got to come over that way. Uh, about there, I think. That looks more central. Turn up there. Oh, that is beautiful. That is much better. I'd like to change the socket colors. Can we do that? That would be under so installations. No, we can't. Home electronics. No, it's not going to be that. Home appliances. No. Um, it doesn't look like you can do that. It looks like that whatever the sockets are on the walls, you've just got to kind of live with them. We can get a radiator. We can put the radiator on the wall. So we will do that one in a minute and then assemble. So put that one in there and do that one up. So our next thing is we're going to want some carpet. I don't particularly like a wooden floor on a bedroom. I prefer to have a carpet on a bedroom. It's generally more comfortable to walk on. So we'll go. We'll do that next. I don't need to keep changing everything there. I can just I could just leave it exactly as it is. For uh, floor panels and coverings, we got fitted carpet, blue, green, or beige. See, we're very limited. We don't have much. In How does blue work? We're, we're gonna we're gonna do a test patch on this. I'll put some down there, and I'll do a test patch there for three pounds. Does that work? Let's do another test patch over here. With beige. Green isn't going to work. We're not going to do green. Definitely not. We won't be doing green. So then we'll do beige over there. I'm actually thinking I'd like the blue, but I think, honestly, um, the beige is going to fit better with the purple. I, I do think that it would be a better mix. So we'll do that up to there. And then I will do the same over to here like that. There we go. Right. That's the carpet done. Let's go back to here. So our next item is obviously going to have to be the bed. Now, I would say that this room here could be a double bedroom. And then this room here could be a... We'll do a single bed in here. I'm not going to do bunk beds for children. I'm just going to do a single bed. But I'm also going to make this room sort of like an office. So this one here, we will put a double bed in. And we'll put it up to that wall up there. So if we go back in here, we need to go to beds next. And we go there. Right, so we've got the Aspelund. The classic double bed lavender. I think this might be the one. We got lily or we got blue. So let's go with that one. By now. There we go. That fits quite nicely with this whole bedroom. That does actually fit quite nicely. Uh, we'll move that. We're going to move it over a bit. Move it over about there, I think. That should be just enough room to put a bedside table there and there. And then we've got room down here to put some other stuff as well. So we want a... Bedside table. It's going to be under cupboards. There, we've got these little bedside tables right here. Do we have any others? we got any... We've got... See, that one there. I don't really like that. Mini chest of drawers. And then we got a bedside table and a right side and... Ooh. Okay, so those are like... We've got beach, white, venge, wood cherry. No. Okay, we're not going to go with that one. No, definitely not. Let's go back up to the top one. Has that one got colours that we want? Bedside table here. We've got white or black. Okay, that's even more limited. So maybe we do want the Anna one. Uh, have we got any others? The bedside table seems to be like quite a critical thing, but there's, there's very limited offers. There's very limited stuff that we can do. What is wood cherry? Ooh. That's, that's very... No, Venge is like quite dark. Dark cherry. Um, Grey. No, definitely not. Dark cherry... Wood cherry. I'm thinking wood cherry. Actually, I'm thinking venge. I think we're going to go with that one right there. It's not perfect, but I'd say it's I'd say it's all right. Um, you know, what side am I picking? Uh, left side. Okay, well let's put this one on the left side. Does it fit? It doesn't fit. We don't have enough room. Okay, we'll cancel that idea. Instead of having this matching pair, we'll just have one on the other side. And we will go 
back for this simple one. We're just going to have a, a white one of these. Just just very simple one like that. I'm going to move that. Actually, I wonder. I wonder. Can we move the bed over just a little bit? If I put that one there. And then if I grab the bed like this. And we'll just move it over. It's only got to move over just a tiny bit. Um, It does move over a little bit. Okay, so we, got, we do have enough room to do that. Which means I can buy another one of these. And it fits. Yes, that's more like it. Right, so we got that one there. Next up, we want bedside lamps. We're gonna we're gonna want lamps. Um, table lamp, stylized lamp, something like that. I think would be would be quite uh, pink lily. So we go. We, oh, you know that that could actually work. Style like a white, gold metal black. I think that fits actually. I think that does do quite nicely. So we we'll put one on there. There. Excellent. And I'll do another one over on this side. It's going to be exactly the same. You put Lily on there. Put that one on there. Turn on the switch. There we go. That one's lit up. So if I turn that one off a minute. That is brilliant. Okay, I'm 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 liking this. This whole home decorating thing. I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to enjoy it. I think we're doing well. Look look at this. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, next up I want we're going to put a bookcase in the corner. I think we I think we could do with that. We, so I think that comes under cupboard. So yes, yeah, so we got the bookcase. That big one there. Oh, we're definitely going to need some chest of drawers. What do we got here? Um color white, brown, dark red. Okay, that's that's limited colors. Have we got anything that will do purple? Or in any kind we got classics there. I don't really want we we've got double chest of drawers here. This is pretty good. Uh, wood cherry, grey, venge. Okay, if, well, I suppose we could go venge. No, because I ended up not doing the venge, didn't I? Yes, yeah, that's, that's going to be too dark in there. I, I really think that maybe we should just go with white. Um, it is a double chest of drawers, and that, that's kind of what I like about it. I'm going to put that directly under the window. Right there. Because uh, we could put some stuff on top of it. Um, window blinds and stuff. Let's Let's continue with the cupboards first. We want a bookshelf, some kind. We got a cabinet over here. How do you think that's going to work? I don't like the idea of that. We got TV cabinets, stylish chest of drawers. We got a linen closet right there. Those can be quite popular actually, because you can sort of pack stuff away, and they do they do look all right. Um, better than a, like a large wardrobe or something, at least in my opinion. Uh, Let's just see what we can do. So with cloth covers, I can do black and white. I can do flowers, navy. Uh, let's just do the flowers. Wood is pine. We'll stick with pine and flowers. We'll, we'll do it like that. Now, this one here. Can I actually fit that one in? Can I fit that one in without it looking too ridiculously out of place? That's that's. I guess that's the big question. Bring that one over. I think that'll work. Okay. We we'll try it. We we'll put that one in there. I think that I think that does actually work, because um, over here I can still fit a bookcase in here. If I can find it. That's the one I want there. The bookcase limb. Now details. We'll keep the details in brass. Do we got uh, venge nut white pine wood cherry cream? We go with white. We're very limited in the amount of purple stuff that we can get. I don't like this. Okay. Uh, that seems to be right into, and it's just, it is just back, just enough. Not all my documents will fit there. Okay, um, we're gonna, we are putting another one in. I like having books, see, personally, I like to have lots of bookshelves, because, you know, uh, bookshelves is, is good, and uh, you, you can fit your books on it. Um, see, I don't, I don't really like, that's more of a kid's shelves, I think. Um... We've got one chest of drawers, and we've got that linen one over there. Are we going to need more for clothing? I, I'm going to say no, we don't so much. So we can fit another bookcase in here, if I put it the right way around. And we'll put that one right next to there, like that. So I've got a, I got two bookcases in here, and I've got the wardrobe linen closet, and we've got the double, what do you call there, the, the double chest of drawers. So now we want something for the windows. We've got blinds and we've got curtains. Uh, curtains and blinds right there. We've got a mountable narrow curtain. That's a full length one. We've got cyan. Ooh, now, now we're talking. We've got light lily. That might be the color that we want. Is there any other purples? No, we'll, we'll go for light lily. There, bye now. 
And that fits up there. Excellent. How far down does it go? Let's, let's, let's just try assembling this one a minute. So we put that one up onto the wall and we put the bolts in. And we put that bolt in as well. Then we come over to this side and we put these in. There we go. Now what? Hook the curtains up. Job done. I think that fits. I do wonder if maybe we should put the short one. I mean, we'll try and put short ones on there, but that's got to be a wide one anyway. See if that works. See if we can go. We want to go um, mountable wide curtain there for baby boy. No, we want light lily again. Doesn't fit. Does not fit. Why won't you fit? It's supposed to fit up there. Not enough room to place this item here. Why not? Why is there not? Is it because of that one? Is it because of this one? Let me move this one a minute. I'll put that one over there. And then we'll try again. We'll try and buy it again. There, light lily. Now it fits. Right, it was because of that. Okay, that's fine. We'll figure something out in just a second. Uh, if I can put it onto the wall. No! Right, let me try that again. Assemble. There. I'm clicking. Uh, wait, is it bugged? Is it is it slightly bugged? It does appear to be slightly bugged. That's, that's annoying. Okay, if I sell that one a minute. Get rid of it and we'll try that again. Hopefully this time I can make it work. It might be because of that. It is entirely possible it's because of that. So let me put that one up there and it should work. So then I go to E for assemble and... It does appear that we cannot put this curtain rod up. It's not letting me. I'm clicking because sometimes you do... Oh, hang on. There, I, I clicked down there. So it did work. It's just sometimes you don't sort of... You do have to sort of play around in order to get them to fit properly. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate. There's not a lot that we can do about it. It's, it's just sort of part of how the game is. But um, yeah. Oh, that was supposed to be short curtains. <laughs> I got the wrong one. Um... Yeah, what, what did I buy? Mountable wide curtain. I was supposed to ask why. I was supposed to get the short one instead. Instead, Yeah. All right. So we're going to have to We're gonna come out of there. We're going to have to sell these. I don't want these. Sell. And then go back into here. And we want the mountable short curtain. I want it in lily. Light lily like that. Buy now. Put that one up there. Assemble. Now, I clicked over here somewhere last time. Oh, there we go. You go click down there. Right. Put that onto the wall and put that one onto the wall. And then we come over to this side and we do the same over this side. Onto there. And then we put the curtains up. And this should be shorter curtains that should only... There. That's much better. That's where they should come to. This one over here. We're going to sell this one as well. And we're going to swap those over to the short curtains. Just because I think it would actually work a little bit better. So this needs to be mountable short narrow. And I want light lily. Bye now. Put you on the wall, assemble. Now this one, this one goes in properly with the, you, you put the mouse up there. So if you're watching and you do have any issues with like putting some of these curtains and stuff, or m anything mounting, sometimes you've got to put the um, the mouse pointer in completely a different place. There we, look, look at the curtains that we got here. Okay, now can I put this one back over here? It's a big question. I don't think I can because of the, um, yeah, see the curtains are right behind it. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one out here. I'm going to have two bookshelves side by side over there. And I'm going to put something different in this corner. What I'm actually thinking to put in this corner is just a chill out. We're going to have just a little chill out spot there. I'm going to go to chairs and I'm going to go to a lily poof. Right here. I'm going to rotate that one around. Go back that way there. That looks a bit better. We're going to plonk that one down in that corner. There we go. Look at that. That's much better. Now I need to get a little bit of decoration stuff. So what are we going to use to decorate this room? We've got some lamps, um, pictures and paintings. Now what can we put? We've got a painting of a cat guarding the night. I like that picture. That one can go... Yeah, we're not going to put that one there. We'll put that one up... I don't really know where to put it. We'll, we'll put that one there. And then we'll get another picture brown forest it's kind of like a I think we can have some like contrast with some of this uh, horses 
I, th I know. We'll, we'll go with that one. I, I, I like that picture. That is quite a nice picture. So we're going to put that one there in the middle. And then I want another one about that size to go right up there in that corner. So where are we going to... What are we going to... What are we going to use for the last one? We've got that picture there. The cat guarding the night. A painting of the brown forest. That one. Okay, that one. Oh, there we go. Right. If I put that one up there like that. There we go. Really, that cat picture is too small to go there. That that doesn't fit that sort of a whole um, thing that we got going on there. Um, we could put... Actually, yeah, we can put that one right in the middle there. Small. It's not, like, overpowering on that point. So I need one more picture that is a little bit bigger. And I quite like that one there, painting there. That does that. That will that will fit quite nicely. We can put those three in there. So we got it is it's kind of themed now on those three, rather than like a, a strong contrast in the themes. We got themed, and I think that looks good. I like this. Next up, what about what else are we gonna get? Um, I'm not gonna put any plants in here. I, I don't think you want plants in the bedroom. Oh, oh. Some people might. Some people. I'm not saying that everybody is the same. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't 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 just. Don't, don't start. All right, don't start. Deep psychology. All right, let's buy that book there. Um, the problem I got with the books is that you can't put them on... Hold and scroll to rotate. Yeah, you, you can only have them lying down. Um, let's have a blue book. Quite sure what the blue book is. But, uh, can I stack that one up on there? I can. I can put that one up on top. Okay, that's really good. I, I do like that I can put that one up on there. Um, Ancient Civilizations. We'll buy that one. That one can go on there. And then we're going to go back in again. We're going to go for rare plants. And that one is going to go there. And then we'll go in again. And we've got a red. We've got a classic. Um, is that all the books that we got? We've got most of the books. Yeah, we've got grey. We've got a blue. Let's put a red book in there as well. Just just one red book can go. I kind of want to put this one. I wonder if I I wonder if I can do this. If, can I put that one there like that? I'll move it over a little bit. I am moving the red book. Yeah. Hmm. It's it's tricky to move around. I want to be able to just just move it over a little tiny bit so that it rests up against that one. And doesn't go underneath it. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. If I take that one and then this one here, I'll move that one out like that. There. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted it to sort of lean over it like that. It looks a little, slightly more sort of haphazard, but it is, is also, it's, it's very carefully placed. It's, it's very carefully picked out. Uh, we're going to go for a medium grey box right there. That grey box is going to go on there. Like that. And I'm going to go... I don't want a bunny. I'm going to put a clock in here. I will put a candle. Put a candle there. And I will get an... Oh, can we... A uh, magenta, yellow, blue... Oh, right. But we'll stick with white. I'll stick another candle... There. Um, You know what? We need to change that. That one... Needs to go in the middle. That candle needs to go on that side like that. There. That's better. Now, we've got... A, I don't want a cutting board. Notebook with recipes. Ball. Yeah, this, this is kid stuff. Uh, the safe will go in the other room. We are going to put a safe in there, I think. And we've got some... Oh, we've got some vases here. Uh, marine. Uh, let's, go, let's go with this blue one here. We'll we go with uh, a vase blue. This is like a, a decorating... A, a, a decorating thing? A, a decoration thing. Um, I cannot put it up on top of the shelves up there, so I'm going to put that one there, and I'm going to buy another matching one that is going to go there as well. Okay, so now I've got stuff. I've actually got stuff in here. What else have I got? Have I got anything else that I can... No, there's nothing else there. Survival, we've got box, boots, emergency foods, guns, nuts, gas mask. Don't really think we want any of that. Um, sconces. Is there anything else that I want? I don't think so. I think we've kind of picked out all the stuff that we want here at the moment. So we've we've got we the bedroom is done. I'm I am happy with the bedroom. I think that we've done well with this bedroom. Look at that. Look at that. That bedroom is looking absolutely wonderful. 
I'm very pleased with this. Let's shut that door so that we don't have that eyesight out there. The, the eyesore out there. The eyesore. And there we have our wonderful lilac bedroom. And that is all we got time for today. So we will come back in our next episode. And we're going to work on the bathroom next. We're going to get this place looking a little bit more shiny. And then, yeah, this, this room out here. This, this is the big room. This, this is going to take us a bit. This... this we may be here for a couple of episodes yet, but I want this house to be absolutely perfect, like this room in here. This this is this is looking fantastic. It's elegant, it's stylish, and the purple is not too overpowering now that we've sort of got the furniture and everything in here as well. I, I, I'm very pleased with what I've done here. I'm genuinely, genuinely pleased with what I've done here, that I've, I've actually managed to pull something like this off. But anyway, that's all we've got time for. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.